Minnesota has started 10 and 2, best in seven years. But are the Golden Gophers just a product of their schedule? We'll find out Saturday night when they take on number six, Michigan State, on the road. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you each and every week on CBSSports.com with some of the best analysts around the nation. And this week, glad to be with CBS's Clark Kellogg from Columbus to break down the Spartans and the Golden Gophers. And Clark, Tubby Smith inherited a team in Minnesota that returned all five starters from a squad that last year wasn't very good, just nine games, team was in turmoil. But more than that already this season with 10 wins. What can you really make of what they've done so far? Well, they've been energized by the, um, the arrival of Tubby Smith, one of the outstanding coaches and people in college basketball. And they also, too, have found a way to be better defensively. I mean, they're averaging 11 steals a game. They're playing aggressively at that end of the floor. And they're also making a three-point shot. When you can do those two things, you have a chance to put together some wins. Yeah, they really do have some good guys from around the perimeter. But as for this game, talent-wise, they really aren't up to par uh, yet. And, and maybe it'll take them a while, but especially for this season, not up to par with teams like Michigan State, like Indiana, and especially in this game, Michigan State. How do they go on to the road, on the road uh, in one of the best buildings in the Big Ten, the Breslin Center, and slow down the Spartans? Well, I don't know if they necessarily try to slow them down. I think they've got to do what their strengths are, and that's playing good pressure defense, attacking the rim, and trying to make three-point shots. In order to compete with Michigan State, though, on the road, I think they have to play close to a perfect game, Jason. That means a low turnover game. That means making threes, getting to the basket, and then doing a good job on the backboards, and that's a tall task against one of the elite teams, I think, in the country in Michigan State. And that really is important against Michigan State. They average about 15 offensive rebounds a game. Yeah. And that is a staple of Tom Izzo, as, as you well know. Uh, Clark, some people around the nation are calling this Michigan State team the best since Tom Izzo's class of 2000 when they won the national title with Mateen Cleaves and Mo Pete and Charlie Bell. Would you agree with that comparison? I can understand where people would start to begin to think about that comparison. But when you take a look at this year's team, there's tremendous depth. There's outstanding talent and leadership when you consider Raymar Morgan as a tremendous scorer, Drew Knights on the backcourt. I think they get outstanding leadership and contributions from Namick and Sutan as well. This team is a little younger, though, and not quite as seasoned, so I still think it's a while before we can make that kind of a comparison, but I can understand why people would look at them in that way. I would say, though, until this team wins a national championship, they're not as good as the one that already did that. <laughs> All right, Big Ten that play. That works for me. I would agree with that as well. Big Ten play opens up Saturday for these two teams. Thought on the outcome of Saturday night? Well, I think Michigan State's hard to beat anywhere, but especially at home. They're playing extremely well at both ends of the floor. I think Minnesota will have a tough time getting out of there. Michigan State wins it. I agree with you on that one. All right, Clark, thank you very much. Sir, sit tight. We'll have a few more previews coming up, and we'll talk to you real soon. All righty. All right, folks, the Golden Gophers and Spartans tip it off Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. And for more on any matchup in the Big Ten or the rest of the Top 25, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com and check out In the Paint with Bill Raftery as well as the other previews with Clark Kellogg all over the CBS Audience Network. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.